Hi, my name is Marques. I should speak English. Hi, Hi I'm Mariette. My name is Gerald. Hi, my name is Jenny. Hi, my name is Lawson. My name is Ilana. My name is Tamsin. My name is Marques. And it was really a privilege being part of the first session of School of Worship. Yeah, I was a late entry actually. <laughs> I kind of left it till right at the last minute. Spots opened up and I was able to go and I was just so blessed. Um, I've always had a heart for worship. I, I love to worship. And I was just really craving some sort of like teaching on that. I mean, we did Bible school and all of that, but I wanted worship. I was curious to see how the program would come together. I grew up listening to Brian Dawson, so when I saw him on the screen, I freaked out. <laughs> um, it was really amazing just to see that the, the way that the program was presented, and they are so keen to present what the Lord has shown them. I've always been able to play djembe and guitar, and I never actually thought about using the gift. Well, I've just started the piano, so I attended the piano workshop, and that really helped a lot. The thing that stood out for me most was the songwriting that we did in groups. Um, God really has really done something. He's really restored my passion for songwriting. It has really created such a platform for me to really see God. The more you know God from His Word, the more you know who you worship. Yeah, man. Um, that was one of the perceptions that I had of worship that I really had to overcome. It's, it's not just um, occasionally things that that we do, it's really a lifestyle. When we eat or whether we drink or whatever we do, we should do it to the glory of God. For me, even when I'm doing my ironing. <laughs> and not just being an echo of everything that has happened in the past, but really being a voice in this world. If you don't play an instrument, whatever God has given you. You can be seriously tone deaf. You have the capacity to worship. I worship a lot more freely. I've started dancing in my free personal worship also at home, which is really liberating and really fun. It wasn't until I really truly understood what it meant to worship in spirit and in truth that I was able to change that perception and able to actually worship, not just properly, but like effectively. I met so many people who have just spoken into my life and become really good friends and good friendships are going to develop out of it whether you expect them to or not. So, so it's, it's really given me an excitement to actually worship God and, and use what I have.